And hello from the stadium that was the main venue for the 2012 Olympics here in the English capital. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United versus Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era, and you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Starting lineup for West Ham United. Alphonse Ariola between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Issa Jump in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Fred starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the match is underway. Jaden Sancho. Here is Fred. McTominay flinging himself at it, the keeper. deliver it with accuracy well, no end product Bruno Fernandes Alex Tevez decent position well not cleared away completely Sancho and just narrowly wide well it's a good effort from that range but I think the keeper had it covered Vladimir Kuval. Well, that is how to play advantage. Declan Royce. Plenty of options. And a good looking ball. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Let's see about the delivery. It might still be problematic. But he could give it away. Antonio. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Bruno Fernandes. Here is Fred. Wonderfully weighted pass. And the cross smuggled away. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. 
Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's West Ham United taking on Leeds United. But it didn't happen for Manchester United in the last game. A defeat. They lost against Newcastle United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, a 2-1 defeat at home is what they deserve, really. Obviously, they'll be looking for a better performance today. No doubt they've been working hard on the training ground, but I think this could go either way. Should be a really tight contest. Now can they counter clinically? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Declan Rice. And on the ball, Vlasic. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Really closing him down. And a chance for him on the flank. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Ronaldo. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say the good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. at pace Cristiano Ronaldo Sancho well that was easy on the eye and he didn't miss by much well that's how to counter attack they did it with such pace just couldn't finish it off the end of 45 minutes in this game well it was a magical first half performance from Cristiano Ronaldo no doubt about that Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate so the ball is moving again and work to do for West Ham in this second half just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up it's Manchester United facing Aston Villa and he read it superbly well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game and he's made headway 
found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance its target well, the situation has changed I'm hearing in the Brighton game Alex Scott can tell us more yep it's a second goal for Leicester City they're ahead by two now with 58 minutes played cheers Alex well United have certainly controlled the ball as you can see and as a result have dominated the game some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that crisp tackling Cristiano Ronaldo. Declan Rice. Well read to win possession back. More than decent this from United. Delivered into the area here. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Into the final 20 minutes. Cross it in here. Not all that convincing defensively. And problem solved for now. Useful looking ball. Jaden Sancho. Well, fantastic reflex action. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Just 15 minutes remaining. And given away. Well, as we approach full time in this one, Stuart, no escaping the conclusion that United, and on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. But that ball played in rather well. Kurt Zuma. And news coming through from the Amex Stadium. Someone has scored there, but who? Here's Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They are now behind 2-1 with 85 minutes played. 
Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And players waiting in the centre. Not the best clearance. And that's a very good parry. Back pass. Well, the counter chance looks very real. They need to get bodies back. Well, it petered out. Fred. And he's in. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part. And going forward, there were some really nice, incisive plays as well. Good result for them. There's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.